never even, you know, made a video. I'm gonna help you out, sis. Okay. Because I was once clueless and I, you know, I was looking, I'm just like, I wish I could make YouTube videos. I wish I could be a YouTuber, you know, so I'm here to help y'all. I found one nice little video that helped me and you know, after that, the rest was history. So hopefully this is that one little video that helps you out and gives you all the tips that you need to start. So first off, you know, before you start buying a camera and everything and all that other stuff, make sure that you, you make sure that you get your YouTube channel page, you know, nice and presentable and however you would like to have it for your channel. Um, first off, I did my YouTube banner. Your banner is that little area on your channel that's blank. It's usually blank. Um, it's usually gray or something like that. But you need to have a YouTube banner to attract people to your page, to let them know, you know, what you're offering on your channel or maybe when you're gonna upload. You, you can either put your, you know, your upload days or you can put what your channel offers like, oh, lifestyle, beauty, vlogs, you know, anything like that. Just let people know, you know, like what is your page about? So you gotta just let them know what your page about, girl. Let them know what you're posting on there. I'm posting some uh, Fortnite video, you know, whatever, gamer, anything. Put that in your YouTube banner so they can know, you know, what you offer. Or you can just put your YouTube name, anything. Um, for your profile picture, your profile picture is the next thing that's also important for your YouTube page because this is what's going to make people see, you know, who is this person that I'm watching, you know, when I'm scrolling down all these YouTube videos. They're gonna see your picture. They're gonna be like, oh, I can't see this person. Make sure your picture for your profile picture is nice and clear and it's not far away. I would highly suggest having your profile picture kind of close up and just of you, not a background. That's gonna distract the people. So make sure you have a nice and cute little profile picture, you know, attract people to your page. Make sure the brightness is up, it's not dim or, you know, funny looking. Just get a nice profile picture, you know, it'll help. Out a lot because I look at profile pictures when I'm watching videos so I'm like girl look like you took this on your on your Android camera you know a, a quick little selfie try and get a nice one you know have some good light and have somebody take a picture of you something have a nice profile picture it helps okay you know after you get your profile page set up and everything I mean your YouTube page set up like your banner and your profile picture then that's when we get into you know equipment the equipment that you need to start a channel now this video is definitely for you know beginners super affordable this is not for people that's already you know a YouTube professional you know you're not a YouTube professional when you start off if you're a beginner then you're like really beginning like you know so don't try and go out here and get you know the uh Canon G7X or you know a big old professional vlogging camera that's a thousand dollars like the other YouTubers. No, everybody started from somewhere. None of these YouTubers started off using you know these super high tech cameras. Well, some of them did because they have money, but you know most YouTubers they start off you know from the bottom. You can start off by using your your regular iPhone, and I'm not saying use any phone. Don't don't go and get an Android and record because I can. I miss you. Nobody's probably gonna watch that video. Try and get an iPhone, you know, the, the latest iPhone. That's what I did. I had the latest iPhone and I had a camera mount. Get a camera mount or a phone mount. You know, the little things that you can clamp onto the window, you can clamp onto the wall and you can put your phone up there and you can prop it up and record. Now, when you get that, make sure that you have something that records horizontal and not vertical because when you're recording for YouTube, your video needs to be recorded horizontal so it can fit the YouTube frame because what video do you see vertical? It's not gonna look right, you know, that's for Snapchat or like Instagram. Your video needs to be horizontal. So get a mount for your phone or for whatever camera that you get and record like that. Or, you know, if you're trying to do this like real inexpensive, you don't have that much money to be spending on YouTube, you can use books to, you can use anything to mount your camera or your phone because honey, let me tell you, I used to use books. You can use shoe boxes. You can use anything that's going to sit your camera up. up, girl. Don't make no excuses. If you don't have the money to go get a camera mount or a tripod, go get some shoe boxes and prop that camera up. That's no excuse. Okay? Now, when it comes to cameras, you know, I have the Sony A5000. Um, that was probably about 550 when I bought it. 
Yeah, it's probably about 550 when I bought it, but that's not what I started off with. I started off with my iPhone 5, I think, or iPhone 6. Yeah, I started off with, with my iPhone 6, and you know, as time went on and I saved money, I bought the camera that I wanted, but you know, you don't start off with that camera that you want. But as long as you be consistent and people see that you're trying and you know, you're creating like nice content, people are going to support you and they're going to, you know, stay down for the come up. So, you know, you don't have to go out and buy the super expensive camera. You can use your iPhone or you can get a super ex inexpensive camera. You know, this camera wasn't that much money. I have the Sony A5000. I also know that um, Nikon has really affordable cameras. You can look on Amazon. Look on Amazon. That's where I found my camera. You can look for super inexpensive cameras, but I would suggest getting cameras with the uh, flip up um, screen so you can see yourself when you're recording. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Like you can see yourself when you're recording, but like I said, that's only if you're trying to spend some money. So yeah, you got your camera set up and everything. The next thing is, you know, where am I going to record? Like, where am I going to record this video? Am I going to record it in my bathroom? In my bed? Like, you need a filming area. You need an area where you can feel your, film your video a nice and quiet area where you can film with no distractions, no sounds in the back because you want your video to be mainly you speaking or whatever you want the audio to be. You don't want to hear TT in the back talking, GG in the back talking, your dog barking. So you can film in your bed area, have like your bed in the background and your room in the background to give a lifestyle, you know, feel to your video. You know, that's nice as long as your background is nice and clean and put together. You can film, you know, in a plain area with a white wall and put up a back a backdrop. Now, you don't have to go and buy a backdrop off of Amazon for $30, $40. You can, you know, do it the ratchet way. You could do it the DIY way. You can get you a sheet or um, you can use a sheet and use thumbtacks to put it on the wall to make a nice little backdrop. I would suggest getting like a solid color, like a nice black or a nice pink or yellow or something bright to put in the background of your video. Um... As well as that, if you don't want to use a sheet, that can be difficult sometimes. You can also use, you know, the poster boards that you used to do your projects on. You know, the poster boards from Dollar Tree for like 25 cent. They're probably about this big. You can get like four of them. Put them on the back of your wall also with thumbtacks and have a nice bright background. Nobody will ever know that it's poster boards, you know. Just put them in your background. Post them on your wall. Nobody's going to know, you know. And... There you go. That seems so hard. It can be so simple. You know, you got to think of alternatives. So, drop. you know, I used to record in my bathroom and I had got a nice plain shower curtain. I would put my camera up, prop it up however I was propping it up <laughs> and, you know, have my lighting and I would film with my film in front of my shower and it would look pretty nice. Nobody would know that it was a shower. I mean, if you did, so what? But it still looked pretty nice. So, you know, there's always alternatives to, you know, backdrops. So... Your filming area needs to be nice and clean and also it is very important to have nice lighting. I feel like this is the most important and this kind of goes hand in hand and what you decide to film with. Having nice lighting can kind of, you know, distract people from the quality. So lighting is key. Lighting does not have to be $5,000 lighting systems or $120 lighting. Like you can use what God gave us. You can use natural light, honey. That's what I used to do. I used to pull my blinds up. All, you see this whole thing? I would pull it all the way up. Like, I don't, I didn't care if the whole neighborhood could see me. I would pull it all the way up. That's how you get the best light. And I would get my um camera at my mount, put it right in front of the light, like sit facing light. I would pull it all the way up. I would face the light and I would record my videos and it would look very bright and nice and vibrant. That's what I highly suggest. The best light is sunlight, natural light. Natural lighting is the best lighting, you know. But, you know, if you're if you are trying to, you know, you don't have good lighting in your house, you can buy a ring light. That's what I have, a ring light. I have the newer ring it's called newer ring light. I have the newer ring light. I think it was $70 for the light. But of course you have to buy the stand with it because you don't want it to break. So it's probably around $90. You can use that. You can use the Diva Ring light. You know, those are a little bit more expensive. But all of those lights are super helpful to your videos. You can use soft box lights. You can even use a lamp. 
I used to use, you know, um, let me show you this one. You can use a lamp like this, you know, that'll clamp onto something and can be facing like you. So you can have like kind of a nice light direct, a nice light directed specifically on you. You can use like one of these lights. These are like at Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, anywhere. To, to have them bomb videos like these big YouTubers, that stuff is expensive. You can't just cut them out the womb with a $5,000 camera, $200 light, uh, a nice film area. Like, you got to take steps to it. You know, you have to take steps. Natural light, highly suggested. If not, you can use a ring light, you can use softbox lights, or you can use just a regular lamp like this one. Um, my last tip would be having a good... Find a good editing software that you can edit your videos on. Um, Cause you don't want your videos to be having all your bloopers in it and maybe the ugly faces that you make. Like you want to edit that stuff out. I know you're a beginner, you don't know how to do that stuff. But like I said, go to YouTube, search how to edit a video on, I on iMovie, how to edit a video on Final Cut Pro, how to edit a video in my iPhone camera roll. You can use iMovie to edit, you can use Final Cut Pro to edit, or you can even edit in your iPhone camera roll. They have that now to where you can trim and cut and all that. Like, that's 100% free, sis. Like, it's free. It's free. iMovie is free, you know? But Final Cut Pro, it's not. That's more expensive. Um, clearly, girl, because I just got it and I love it, but it's so expensive um, just to be editing a video. But it's worth it. Um... When I first started, I used iMovie. You just download it. You can even download it on your phone if you don't have a computer or a MacBook yet. Download it on your phone. Edit your videos. You can trim it. You can add music, um, transitions, all of that. It makes your videos look really nice and it adds some character and creativity to your videos. Um, and that can be downloaded on your phone or even on your computer. Final Cut Pro, you know, that's only for MacBooks, so if you have a MacBook and you want to edit a nice video, you can get Final Cut Pro. You know, taking all of these tips and, you know, you can start a nice little channel, you know, affordable. All I gotta say is, you know, be consistent with your videos. Try and post, you know, at least once a week. If you can't even do once a week, you can do once every two weeks. Just start. Like, just starting is gonna help. Keep pushing it off because you don't have these high-tech cameras or nice lighting or all these equipment that you think you need to start a channel no just start and I swear just start just start it's like that's all I'm gonna say just start don't be scared don't care what nobody have to yo and learn some things from this video if you're looking to start a channel don't be scared don't be scared don't let anybody discourage you don't let anybody think Oh, everybody's doing YouTube now. You're not going to be a star. Oh, everybody's going to be a copier. Why are you copying me? Forget them, you know. So be who you want to be. Who cares what they think? You know, if you want to be a YouTube star, go for it, sis. And if you have any more questions about it and you want to know, you know, how I do things or how I do certain things, contact me. Comment below. I, I'm about to hit 2,000 subscribers. And that's really, 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 really big for me because... I kind of just hit a thousand subscribers. What was it sometimes this year? I hit a thousand subscribers sometime this year. And when I tell you, it took me probably two years to get a thousand subscribers. I was being so inconsistent. Like I said, consistency is key. I was being so inconsistent. It took me like two years to get a thousand subscribers. And now it's probably been a couple months and I've gotten a thousand more subscribers. So like I said, be consistent. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Once again, shout out to you girl for requesting this video because I know it's probably thousands of people that are searching on YouTube right now. Girl, how do I start this channel? Like, how do I do this? How do I do that? I hope it helps you guys out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.